Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Crystal Sky. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time we upload a free flowing video on this YouTube space. On this amazing platform, we are creating a Mustang community, a family of free, beautiful spirits. So I love to have you a part of this journey and just, uh, yeah, just be a part of our channel and our chats and our vibrations. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the full moon. Um, a couple things actually, but one of them is the full moon and it is going to be in full bloom <laughs> um, tomorrow night. And I think it's really important to talk a little bit about the full moon and its importance. This full moon is in full moon of Leo, which, um, you know, Leos are amazing people. I think every um, astrological sign has its strengths and beauties and, and, and amazing uh, vibrations to it. So this full moon being in Leo, I really feel is going to touch base on really getting into those deep emotions. It's going to flurry some... Um, uh, uneasy feelings because that is part of the healing journey. Sometimes things get a little worse before they get better. And so with this full moon, I think that if you're feeling frustrated or um, discouraged in any way, uh, if you're just feeling a little overwhelmed, I think that those are some feelings that are there to kind of push out whatever needs to be pushed out to make room for what needs to be put in. Every full moon is a great chance of letting go of what no longer serves us. Um, that could be, you know, toxic people. It could be toxic work environments. It also could be, um, you know, just looking at things that we do that don't work for us anymore. So it's, it's a, a full moon is really great. It's an evaluation to see what's working for you and let go of what's not to make room for what is going to be working for you. That being said with the full moon, I would like to mention that full moons are very powerful and they're very potent and they're very meaningful. Now, if you look at it in the scientific world, moon, the moon can actually affect oceans and large bodies of water, small bodies of water. It affects the water tides. It, the energy, uh, you know, it just, it, 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 it changes the dynamic of the way of the water, right? So if our bodies are made up, I believe of like 80%, don't quote me on that because I'm not a scientist, but our bodies are made up quite a bit of water. So when a full moon occurs, what makes you think that it's not going to affect you in some way or another when we are made of water? If it can affect a giant ocean, it could definitely have some sort of an effect on us as well. Now that's not a bad thing, it's not a scary thing, it's not an unhealthy thing, but it's just something to think about that this full moon and every full moon does have a little bit of something to us. We might feel tired, you might feel nausea. There's actually a thing called full moon sickness that I never really was aware of, but I did uh, hear of it and I was very interested to learning what that meant. And um, it's not harmful, it's not gonna hurt you, but a full moon sickness means that it can make you, uh, well, here are the symptoms actually. So it can make you feel very tired or exhausted three days before or three days after, or even during the day of the full moon and that night. It can also cause you to have a headache. Uh, it can have a situation where your body can physically hurt, like, like your whole body can just have like aches and pains. Um, you know, you could have a little bit of uh, vision uh, that seems a little different. You can feel imbalanced. So moon sickness is, full moon sickness is 
nothing to be afraid of, but it's something to be aware of so that you're not afraid. But it's also how powerful is the moon, right? Like how powerful is this moon? So when you do feel moon sickness, don't be scared, but just know that you'll need to drink extra water, take extra care of yourself, give yourself extra love and compassion and be where you're at. Um, jumping back into a full moon of this month, I really feel like this month is a really good full moon to kind of go inward and focus on yourself. And of course, every full moon, people say that, but it's a little bit different this full moon. I think this full moon is, is really a reflection of not... How can I put it? The This full moon is really teaching us to be more in our power and love ourselves and not be affected by other people. So, you know, don't let other people's insecurities become yours. If somebody's feeling upset or sad, of course, be there for them, but don't absorb their energy. Block that energy. You know, something that I tell myself if I feel not uh, my best self or I feel an energy that's not mine, I always say I return it back to sender. This energy is not my energy. This feeling is not my feeling. And I return it back to sender. When I'm feeling at my best self, that's when I reflect on and I say this is my energy. And this is me. This is how I feel. This is my emotion, being happy and confident and full of love and wealthy and my best self. So when I feel my best emotions, I claim them. And when I feel emotions that are not great, I return them back to sender. Now, that doesn't always mean like you return everything back to sender. But if you're crying because of a situation that you know of, then you can just say, you know, this is a time where I'm allowing myself to detox and get off, get out all of the awful feelings and I'm allowing myself to cry it out. But if you're feeling sad, but you don't know why, sometimes that isn't your feeling and you have to return it back to sender um, in a loving way, but you just don't want to be claiming someone else's energy that doesn't belong to you. So I think that it's important for this full moon that you really reflect on yourself, your love, uh, and knowing what is working for you and what is not working for you. Think of new things that you might enjoy doing. Um, you know, you might have a list of things that you know you love to do, but what is a list of things that you might want to try and figure out? Do you love ice skating? I don't know, maybe you can try it. And then if you fall in love with it, there's a new avenue of a community of a date night or, you know, just a self uh, having fun night. You know, you can go ice skating or uh, finger skating or rollerblading. I mean, there's all kinds of different variations of it. So try out new things and it's okay if you don't like some new things, but you'll never know unless you try. And so I think this full moon is really pulling out of us, um, you know, just becoming, having a more fulfilled and fun life and enjoying it and not really people pleasing and chasing after making other people happy. So I think this full moon is beautiful. I think every full moon is beautiful. So I'm really grateful to it. But just know that take time for yourself to have a reflection moment. Write down things that you love. And if you don't want to write them down, at least think of things that you love. But things that you personally love, not things that your best friend loves or your significant other loves. Because that's not focusing on you. Again, that's people pleasing. Again, that's putting somebody else. And I'm not saying to like you know, never make people happy. I'm just saying be mindful of the attention you're giving yourself and be mindful of the attention you're giving to other people. So this full moon, if you're having full moon symptoms, like I said, don't be afraid. 
just really take the time to eat right, drink water, and rest. Um, you know, for me, I love going out and having fun and, and seeing people, but um, this full moon, don't think that you have to keep up that social social aspect of things because you can always do that after the full moon, but during the three days before and three days after and on the day of, give yourself grace to rest. Um, you know, I think that the hustle and bustle can be a good thing, but I also think that it can be a hindering thing if you don't allow yourself to rest. One of the biggest things that I really feel is that when you rest, that's when the flow of good health and wealth can really come to you and circulate through you. Um, so let the good vibrations come to you through the power of rest. So I hope that this video served you in some way. And um, I don't know, I also wanted to touch base. I just wanted to mention one other thing is that I got a strong feeling that somebody needed to hear this small little quick message. I know the full moon thing is kind of, everybody can kind of listen to it. And this message, everybody can listen to it too. But I think that maybe one or two people might, it might resonate with a little bit closer than the overall group that might see this. But um, if the overall group definitely benefits for it, great. But I am specifically getting a very strong message to mention this. And I am feeling very strongly that don't be so hard on yourself as you are becoming successful. And don't be so hard on yourself when you realize that the people that were in your life in the past served a purpose for that moment, but because they are not serving the purpose for you now, doesn't mean that you have to hold on to them. You can let them go with peace and love and you can focus on the self that you are now and the people that need to be in your life now. There are people that are going to be in your life for eternity. There are going to be people that are going to be in your life for a moment and they're going to be people that are going to be in your life for a season. The people that are going to be in your life for eternity are the ones that are always going to support you love you and understand you. But the people that are going to be there for a moment or a season are only going to love you for that moment or season. But the moment you stop being perfect to them, they're not going to love you anymore. Is that fair? No, it's not. So because that's not fair, that means they're not supposed to be in your life. But the people that do love you are supposed to be in your life forever. And they're going to accept you whether you're perfect or not. So people that only love you for your perfection, go ahead and let them go because that is considered toxic toxicity. So if you're in a situation where people only love you for the moment that you're being perfect, they're not your people. And you need to let them go because the people that love you no matter what on your dark days, on your light days, those are the people that are meant for you for life. And those are the people you need to invest in. So I hope this video has served somebody somewhere <laughs> or at least was entertaining. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just really grateful. I'm a little tired today just because of the full moon. But um, I, done, I have done so many different things today and... Um, you know, with my animals and with my family. And it was an amazing, absolutely an amazing day. But I am making this video a little bit later than I usually do. So that's probably why, um, you know, I might have stuttered a couple times or not made sense or rambled a little bit. But I really wanted to make this video tonight because it was very strong in me that I had to do it. So I listened to my inner being and made the video super late. Um, it may not be uh, the best conversation, but it is nevertheless a conversation. So please join in our community. Go ahead and comment down below some positive things 
to maybe help the community grow with love and kindness. So remember that no matter where you are, day or night, celebrate all your victories and your wins, no matter how big or small they might be. We absolutely love you on this channel. Thank you for watching. Mwah. Namaste.